Hello people, this is Sonic Time Warp Gaming and we are playing Doctor Who The Adventure Games. This game was produced by the BBC and is available to download from the Doctor Who pe website and the link will be in the description below we are going to be doing City of the Daleks so now I do have to say that the to load times are quite lengthy so I may cut them down after the first episode also I want to talk about how I first got introduced to Doctor Who it was in 2005 when it came back on air with Christopher Eccleston as the ninth doctor nineteen sixty three such a good year that's uh, the year you bought that outfit then you know we can go to see the Beatles play in nineteen sixty three but the ice age is only a click away on the dial can I meet John Lennon what not Ringo why doesn't anybody ever want to meet Ringo there's no such thing as a sexy drummer you know, I'd never considered that. Then again, why would I? 1963. The Beatles' first two albums. Sean Connery as James Bond. The Kinks, The Rolling Stones. Mary Quant, John Steed and Kathy Gale. All right now, out there, London is the coolest place, not just on Earth, but the whole galaxy. No. Impossible. Did you get this wrong? Maybe this is like 2963 or something. There's no mistake, this is 1963. But how? What or, or who could have done this? Something with the power to alter time on a massive scale. Doctor, look. Well, here it is. Doctor Who. City of the Daleks. Now, the year 1963 is actually very well known in Doctor Who as it is the uh, first um, episode was aired on this this year. Twi uh, 23rd of January of November. Exterminate! We've got to talk to her. Wait. Now we've got to talk to her. Come on. It is also the year that it that the first episode was set in the unearthly child So we are in the Dalek ridden nineteen sixty three. Now those cards are actually collectibles. 
You could also see facts about uh, the London bus as well as um, and as well as learning some facts about Doctor Who. Now these cards are collectibles and feature um, loads of different um, like monsters from Autons to Daleks to Cybermen to Slovene or companions like Rose, Riversong, Amy Pond Martha Jones they can also feature doctors from the from the first to the eleventh and friends such as Wilfred Mott and uh, Jackie Stop. Tyler. Look out for that Dalek. Maybe we can avoid it if we're careful. Now this kind of gameplay is is very common in this game you have to wait and it is basically stealth you have to try to keep out of the enemy's radar or line of sight and get around to a specific place which is that cab in this instance. So we've got a sixth Doctor card here. Now we should be safe now. This looks like it could smash through that barrier. Amy, can you give me a hand? Sure. One, two, three Well, not exactly elegant, but it did the job. It's dark down there. When I said I wanted to meet the Beatles, I meant the band, not the Bucks. Well, you can stay up here and meet the Daleks. But they're more heavy metal. Now, we are heading into the underground where the Yetis were in the second Doctor story, um, Web of Fear, if I'm not mistaken, or something along those lines down here you never know what you're gonna find on the underground rats dinosaurs yetis <laughs> the woman we saw must be around here somewhere don't move ah there you are hello calm down we're here to help you how can I trust you do we look like Daleks us humans have to stick together I'm the doctor by the way and I'm Amy Sylvia tell me what happened when did the Daleks get here? What do you mean? How can't you know? They overrun the Earth, the whole planet. We've sort of been away. Promise you, Sylvia, we can help you. Just tell us, please. They came out of the sky, like, like they tore a hole in it. Legions of Daleks flying out of it. So many, they turned the sky dark. Thousands and thousands of them, thousands. Exterminate! This is also a uh, quite a um, big part, I would say, um, in these in this game is talking. It won't be that big um, in this episode, but it will on other episodes. How did you survive? The Daleks defeated the army straight away, but the ordinary people fought for a while. You learn fast when you have to. You've done pretty well on your own, one woman army. The Daleks can't do this. They've never had the power to change time like this before. Change time? What are you talking about? Look, I'm barely hanging on to my sanity as it is. 
Listen to me, Sylvia. This was not supposed to have happened. 1963 was followed by 1964, and a whole lot more years after that. I have to stop whatever the Daleks have done to make this happen. Look, it isn't safe to stay here. If you want to stay alive now, you have to keep on the move. Let me check ahead. These tunnels are dangerous. I think it just Oops. got even more dangerous. Sylvia is safe. The Daleks can't see her, but we're going to have to be very careful if we're going to get to her. Now, this was voiced by all the um or the official voice actor so um Nicholas Briggs does the Daleks Sensors alerted. Um Matt Smith and Karen Gillen do the voices of the Doctor and Amy respectively. But apart from that, um I think all of them are new voices as none of the people have been seen on TV before also these adventure games the first four episodes so this so that's this one set of the Daleks uh, Tomb of the so no not Tomb of the Cybermen um, Lots of, and basically, the first four are just the Doctor and Amy. We need to catch up with Sylvia. We will play as Amy later in this episode, but as for now, we are playing solely as the Doctor. Now. I will explain to you why Doctor Who is such a big um, part of my life. Um, it's because I generally love the way that the um, Doctor travels through time and space. I do love the concept of um, going uh, through time and seeing loads of historical moments but I will shut up now as I think we're okay Stop. the track is electrified then we need to reroute the power somehow and fast yeah so basically I do love the concept this is going to take some manual rewiring and um, I and I do find it very interesting even even though some people do not share my thoughts I am a Hoovian as that is n the name of um, Dr big Doctor Who fans and I am looking forward to the hopefully brilliant um, 50th anniversary that's coming up in um, November of this year now it's safe we better get a move on before that Dalek spots us I'm just double checking that there isn't cards or anything around here. I'm okay, let's keep going. Hmm, that doesn't sound. that doesn't look good. 
Sylvia, are you sure you're Hurry, all right? Doctor. The exit is just there. Yeah, why don't we move? I mean, the Daleks aren't coming, but there's no telling if, when. Up you go, Amy. I just need to set this trap. You don't need to. Sylvia! Exterminate! Run, Doctor, run! Exterminate! No! They killed her. We've got to get back to the TARDIS. Ew. Now this bit's fairly easy. And then you get to this bit, which I still find fairly easy, as this is basically the tutorial part of the game. Isn't until we reach Scaro that it ramps up difficulty. I say that as I die. But, yeah. This is still a very good game. Now, with this, you can't go too close behind, else you'll end up getting spotted and exterminated, as I've already shown you. Never got to see. Doctor. Amy? <coughs> it's alright, Amy. You're going to be alright. I felt so weird. It's going to be alright, Amy. I promise you, if I can analyse the time and place that the Daleks altered the timeline. I don't get it. If humanity's destroyed in 1963, how am I still here? The TARDIS protects you, but we have to act quickly. Gotcha. What is it? The source of the Daleks' time meddling, it's Scaro. The planet of the Daleks. Coordinates set, we're going back to where it all began. Blood production error. We're going to save the human race. The TARDIS was facing the other way. Now, I think I will end it there for this part. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.